specially constructed toll road winding up the mountain and providing the visitor with increasingly impressive views of the surrounding country, finally brings one to the observatory situated on the summit of Mount Wilson, more than a mile above sea level in the clear, brilliant air of Southern California. Because of the favorable climatic conditions and the wealth and variety of its equipment, Mount Wilson has become the center of astronomical research in America. An isolated mountaintop, remote from the petty affairs of this Earth, where men spend their lives studying the mysteries of stellar space. The solar observatory with its 150-foot tower telescope is used exclusively for photographing the sun, and important solar research has been carried on here. Let us see what sunspots look like, those curious phenomena about which we hear and read so much. The round object illustrates the comparative size of the Earth. This is a spectroscopic photograph of a solar prominence, which is an immense flame-like protuberance, which frequently dashes out of the surface above the sunspots to a height of 150,000 miles. They might be likened to cyclones of flame. Here we see the giant 100-inch Hooker reflector, the world's largest telescope. The difficult task of casting the glass disk weighing four and a half tons, after many failures, was finally accomplished. The grinding and testing of the huge mirror was carried out in Pasadena by the observatory's opticians. The mirror rests at the bottom of the telescope tube. As the rotation of the Earth would soon take the instrument off any star or planet being photographed, a delicate clockwork keeps the huge hundred-ton telescope in perfect time with the Earth's movement. To overcome the tremendous friction due to the great weight of the instrument, the main bearings are hollow steel cylinders floating in tanks of mercury. Let us look through this amazing telescope at Saturn, with its rings of meteoric dust composed of particles about the size of small pebbles. The planet and its rings are cool and shine by the reflected light of the sun 886 million miles away. Here is a photograph of the constellation of Auriga, of which Capella is the leading star, about 19 light years distant from us. Note as the exposure has been lengthened how stars of 15th, 18th, and even 20th magnitude become visible. Stars of the 20th magnitude are invisible to the eye even through the largest telescope, but the more sensitive photographic plate records them after several hours exposure. This is a spiral nebula in Canis Venatici, a million light years away. So huge it takes 10 million years to make one revolution. Our Milky Way, though older and more diffuse, is also a spiral nebula, and from Canis Venatici would appear much as this. And here we see our nearest neighbor, the Moon, as it appears through the Great Telescope. Popular belief to the contrary, it is highly improbable that man will ever be able to bodily explore stellar space. But by the aid of this amazing telescope, and greater ones to follow, it is reasonable to believe that we are on the verge of great visual voyages of discovery to the very ends of the universe.